Kumlanabakimara, we are up to the Khop Hey Amal Aleph. We have the last thing we were discussing was an argument as to um whether the Koyhani wore big day Koyan, big day kahuna, or big day headyet in the morning when they went for their lottery. So it comes along the Gemara over here and he can bring a proof to himself. Amad Abshesh is about eight, nine lines from the top of the page. <coughs> Rav <laughs> Sheshe says they wore big day kodesh. I'm going to say, "How do I know you wore big day kodesh?" The Tanya will let me write. Says Lishchus Hagozi, that chamber over there, which we learned, which is on the northwest side, or, and that chamber there, which had four different rooms inside it, and that's where the Sanhedrin sat, where they used to scrutinize every single coin to see whether they're qualified or not. And we explained last time why it's called guzzies because the way the stones were, they were shaved, or because they used to pull coin him out. Is kimim the silky daylight, so it was like a round area, um, or it was actually a the way it actually learns is it was an upstairs, it was a house on top of a um, um on top of a second story. In this place, that um, what did they do in this big area? The pious, the lottery took place on the eastern side of it. And the Zakin Yeshi, my brother, and the Zakin. So this room straddled, uh, you know, it was, it was a big area. So the western side of it, that's where the the Dayanim sat, and the eastern side of it is where they had the lottery. The Hakoyanim and the Koyanim themselves, Mo Kofi and the Imnin Kimi Bekuliar. The Koyanim stood in the circle, in the round circle. The Hamamuna Ba came along the pointy. The Neitel Mitznef is Meroshes Shalechman pulls off somebody's hat. Tyson here has a whole discussion very mentioned before. Machlek is Riva and others whether the hat that the coin headed wore is the same hat the coin god wore because it had two different names. One is an Ibas and the coin god called Mitznefes. And the reason why he holds it different is because the coin god will have to have a tzitz and the tulin had to therefore have to be a smaller hat. But here we're referring to the coin in Medjotim and we get yet we call it uh, the same thing Mitznefes. So they want to uh, disprove. Um, the Riva. The Riva will answer this. Lashem Teir Luchud with Lashem Chacham Luchud. The Teir says is very pedantic. The Teir alters the name of the hat between a Kohen Gadol and a Kohen Hedjet for the purpose. Here, the Chacham and Mishnah took on because everybody's familiar with their name of Snapper. So the name of Snapper doesn't prove anything. The Yehudim, so they know, Shem Imenu Pais, Maschad after the lottery began. Now, the East, Al-Kadat, if you tell me Big Dechoyel, they wore ordinary clothes. Mit Snapper, the Big Dechoyel, Mika, why would they be wearing a hat? This hat is one of the four vestments of a coin head yet. Isn't that clear? That what? That a coin head yet, that the coin him already wore that big dekuna at the time of the lottery. So the Gemara, why not? There, we could find a concept where the coin head yet wore ordinary clothes, and yet there was a hat. How is that possible? Like Rabbi Huda learned, you'll learn later on. A coin that his mother would make him a nice shirt, uh, tunic. We learn later that the Koyanim's mothers used to go ahead and make beautiful clothes for the children to show either their wealth or to show how good they can embroider or they can sew and so on. And they wanted to show how much they care about the mitzvah and the covers of their son being a coin serving in the base of English. But those clothes they couldn't wear. It wasn't communal clothes, it was private clothes. So they can only use those clothes for to do the avoidus yachas, it's considered the arba big de coin, but they cannot do it on behalf of Christ, so it's a, a private person, but they can do their own kabbalas on that day. So therefore, it's 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 there's a hat, but it's not coins clothes. So it doesn't therefore it doesn't prove anything. Um, even by avoidus yachas, he can do his own activities. Let's go back and talk about this lishkas hagos. You're telling me that I had two different areas. One area the Sanhedrin sat, and the other area is where the coin did the lottery. So Lishchas Hagazi, you must conclude Chetzia Bar Kodesh, but Chetzia Bar Chol half it was in the in the part of the that was the base of Migdash, and the other half was actually not outside the base of Migdash. I no, didn't have the conclusion. How do I know? Shmami, I'll tell you in a second. Shnei Psochim Hayil, I must have been two entrances. Echad Pesurah Bar Kodesh, one entrance went out into the Kodesh, into the base of Migdash. Echad Pesurah, one went out into the mundane. Now let's start at the beginning. The Isaka that the Kulu Kodesh, the entire Lishchas Hagazi was considered it was part of the base of Migdash. Zokin Yeshiv. How in the world was the Sanhedrin able to sit? But well, Amma, um, uh, didn't we learn in the Gemara? We'll learn later in the Sanhedrin. Ain't Yeshiva be Azara that you know sit in the Azara? Ella le Malke be Davi Bova, the only ones who can sit in Azara are Malke be Davi, but everybody else has to stand. How is the Sanhedrin able to sit? 
How is it in the mirror? Said, Tasha really asked, but we find sometimes kind of sad as well. And Tasha says, first, we said, there's some of the Holy Shalim, some of the Holy but otherwise, it says, when we say you're not allowed to sit in the base of Middash for your own in Yonin, but if you're doing it for the service of the base of Middash, you're allowed to sit. So the Kainim were able to sit in the base of Middash and eat from their Kabbalists. Um, um, so further, so on the one hand, you must say that there's an hedge sat in the Chol part. No, so say the entire thing goes to Chol. Oh, but Isaac did that cool B'Chol. He didn't tie the Chol. Payis b'Mizrach. How can you tell me that what that the Payis was on the east side, which means it was outside the base of Migdash? But being willing yesterday, we need to be, Why did we make four different Payoses, four lotteries? Because we want to be buzzed with excitement. The base of the Kim, the Halach Berug. They should be walking the house of Hashem. They should go with enthusiasm, with excitement, and it should be you no. Know, it should be very exciting. But if it was outside the base of Migdash. Then what did you, what did you do? So the lack Elish Mamni must conclude Khatsi Bakaidish of the Pious part was in the Kaidish, and the Khatsi and the other half was Bakhil in the in the Nepal of Sanhedrin were able to sit. We're able to sit. It looks like north and south. Either way. When you look in the picture, you'll see the the, the half of the gods is outside of the chel, outside of the chel. Yeah. So that's it. So that side of the Sanhedrin, but that's north and south. That's not east and west. Uh, which way east west? Then? Yeah, you can have a look. It's down on the corner. It's down the corner. North, north. It's still. It's still. Ah, okay, okay. So exactly. Yeah. So you look in the. Easier way to see it, that, that's confusing, because you look at it all the way around. The easy way to see it here, here's the Lishchus HaGozis. Sorry. Here's the Lishchus HaGozis. Here's the Lishchus HaGozis over here, right? So part of it is outside and part of it is inside. This is what it goes, isn't it? No, it's based on Michael. Lishchus HaGozis is number 23, sorry. Lishchus HaGozis is this one here, right here. Yeah. So half of it is protruding outside, yeah, and half is inside. So if you say that the whole of the north is 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 coil, and the whole of the south makes sense. What are saying? Exactly. But according but to this drawing, this according to this drawing, oh, the vertical, yeah. Exactly. It's still south. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Because what is the what's what's determining it is the doorway. See? Yeah. What's okay, determining yeah. is the doorway. So you, okay. We're seeing more. Let's finish it. Abaya continues. Now, what are the doorways? He says, you must say, um, the east side of the Pesach Eshel is one door for both of them. Where's that door? If that door is pursuing the Kaid, if that door is open to the base of Migdash, Zak and Yeshiv and Marava, if it's open to the base of Migdash, the entire room, even the part that's sticking out, extending out to the base of Migdash, is considered Koli. How can this sit there? Those chambers that were built in the weekday part, in the mundane part. But Psukha the Kaid is open to the holy part, Taikhan Kaid is considered sacred. These are the Psukha the Kaid. And if you can tell me, on the other hand, the door is open to the outside, Payez bin Mizracha. How could the Payez bin E? But now we learn, Nuyez by Kaidish, Psukha the Kaid, Taikhan Kaid is considered the Kaid. El Allah doesn't approve that Shnei Psukhim Hoyula doesn't approve that there were two entrances. Echa Psukha the Kaid is the Psukha the Kaid. And therefore, the room. The part that closer to the door was Khail, the part that was closer to the door of the Kajus Kajus. That's right, face. That was the That was the first lottery. A pie is a shiny, the second lottery, me shaykh. The second lottery is quite much more sports. It's a canvas of a large group of coin name. Here ready. The first one is who's gonna shake the curtain dummy. Uh, me is like even though shit is shared bizarre, but since Crane did it, who's gonna share? And then who is gonna sprinkle the blood? Because that's the most important activity. Remember, we didn't do Kabbalah by Lachel because that's not Avaida Tama. You have work after that. Um, mm-hmm. who is going to clean the inner Mizbech? Previously, we did the Tunus of the outer Mizbech. Who will do the inner Mizbech? And who is going to clean out the menoida? Me, my a body in the kebish. After they they shecht the animal, they will bring up the limbs onto the kebish, onto the ram. Who is going to bring it there? This is how they did it. It was a big animal, so they put in parts. Haroish, but I go one coin did the, the, the head and the, the hind leg. We'll see later more why you need both. Next coin did Shreya Diamond, two four legs. The next coin did Haroikis, but did the tail and the back and the hind leg. The next one did 
So you're going front animal, back of animal, go back and forth. Uh, the, 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 the breast, the hagoda, and the neck. That's the part facing the ground. That's the next point. Straight finally, the two flanking. That's the next side. And hakirbayim, the innards. The hasoilis and the flower for the carbon mincha. And um, the mincha comes along with the carbon tamid. The hachavitin. And then the coin godl had to use his own money for the flower offering that they did twice a day. They did part half in the morning and half in the evening. And it's called chavitim because they use a machava, say, a shallow frying pan, as Ashi says. The hayayin and the wine, which is three loyin of wine, so we also have to carry it for the carbon tamid. Shloisha asa koinin zechwe, the total of 13 koinim involved in this lottery. That's how many you mentioned it. On the Benazel of Rebbe Kiva, Benazel of Kiva, I disagree, Mishra of Jnei Rebbe Shua. I don't agree with the order of the Mishnah. I say the way an animal walks, that's how they, they, that's the order of the lottery. So the first part of the animal, you work your way to the back animal. The animal is in front, back, middle. And we'll see more later. The more gets a whole bunch of different opinions on how to carry up the animal, and our mission is alone opinion. Says he further, he boy, let me ask first a simple question. When they drew a lottery, did they do, let's say, they, they, they did the shritta first, and afterwards, whoever won that particular avoider, then after they just went to the right, and every coin of the next him, you know, you got the next one, you got the next one in order. Only one lottery, in other words. Only one lottery, one for one, and then you went in order after that sequence. Uh, or do we say no? Or, um, where are we? I do the whole avoid of avoid the hem of ice the 13 activities. Every avoid had a separate lottery. So you want to touch my coming in. We learned before out of a payas. We learned before there were a total of four lotteries. These are going to have to follow the hem of ice. a lot more than four. I'm not going to be talking about you. Don't stand to the mission. We should mean Arba Pa'amim. Four, on the four occasions they went into the lottery, we said to make to, to create an excitement in the air. Each time they drew a lottery, maybe they will want many more than one. So Kashma coming here, you don't know what he says. The person, when he did the traitors, when the kid, the next pie, when they did the traitors, so uh, they only you know a new coin every time had to do the traitors, they would make. Do, do, uh, do we, traders need two coins, one coin to carry the incense and one coin to carry the coal. So they made a lottery for the coin to carry the incense, and the coin right next to him on the right of him was the one who carried the coal. <clears throat> right, so no, you, you need what happens is you need the, the, the coal that they used for the traders was from the outside of the bed. So you need a, a coin to go to the outside of the bed, take a shovel, take some uh, coal and bring it inside. So there's two different people there, but they only had one lottery. So doesn't that have to prove they only have one lottery? Teacher already argued that how come you bring a knife and I'll be really when the Chacham argued. So just say, I'll be here, if Chacham hold you don't. It's only one person. Ella, yes, your mother, yeah, lay a pipe, mach the eloquence of Zoch of Taylor's famous, the same way Zoch of the Chaim, the mach the similar shiny mach. Your mother says, no, you cannot draw any analogy from the case of Taylor. Shiny mach the Taylor, you know why? Could the Chod avoid it? is one considered one service, everything else is separate services. Here is one activity to, bur- to roast the potatoes, and part of the roast potatoes is to have the coal. So, therefore, it's considered one lottery. One guy wins, and the guy in the right is in the But everything else might be a, a separate lottery for each person. That's one answer. Ikidam is another answer. Dafke machte u potatoes. We another answer is that only a frying uh, by potatoes and the coal do we have one lottery. The Chod Avoidi. But for Ket, Avo Shar Avoidis. But another version for Ket, we want to bring an eye from there that there's many lotteries. Only over here is one lottery because they want activity. Avo Shar Avoid, all other activities, Boy Pais. You need a separate lottery for each one. As they can uh, no, right. Maybe really everywhere you have one one lottery for Shkita, then you just follow along. But Titus is different. We would have thought Titus you required too, and that's why we highlight Titus and the coal. Why would you think over here you required to? It's a I thought, since we only did it twice a day, right? Because nobody brings Titus. Titus is a very rare thing. You, you, no other people bring Titus to the base of me. Uma Atra, we're going to learn later on that whoever is involved with Titus is it gets very wealthy. And that's why we don't allow a Koyan to have a sex shadow. He's Naskin, Le Pai, but Nas, we're going to talk about if let's, both people should have a lottery, it should be Xhus. Let there should be two lotteries. Come on, no, there's only one lot. Toshma coming here, so we have no right either way. Coming here, we have a clear, but I said, you didn't have a separate lottery. 
property for every koyin. El koyin shazacha betamit shneim asa shneim asa echad koyin shach imay. The koyin that was zoyche in the car betamit the twelve brethren the koyin nim shach imay are drawn with him. Shma mina, that's a clear proof. No, clear twelve lotteries. I say there no, it's not, it's, no, no, no. One lottery, but twelve people on the right. You go right, and the next right, the next right, the next right. You go in the order of the, what our mission says. Uh, in, in order of events, yeah, in order of what? No, yeah, yeah. The order of activities. The next thing. Uh, that's the that's one lottery, yeah. If you like it, it stops them. We had before about an Elam, you remember the strong guy. Strong guy. Watching yeah, there's, watching there's that. a Mona. That's it. Yeah, yeah. They were closely huddled together, but yeah, they couldn't. Oh, Sending on a bike and bike, Sashaini, the second lottery. Boy, Luhu. So we had an issue question. Me, Mikabel. Who is the one who stands it straight away and, and receives the blood? Remember, the additional blood that has to be taken to the Mizbech. It could be one or two people. Since there's not a, a, a separate lottery for him, it must be that somebody already there is doing it. Is it the Shoichet or is it the Zoyrik? Shoichet Mekabel? On the one hand, you can argue that the Shoichet is the one who should be uh, Mekabel the blood. Why is that? The Yama Zoyrik Mekabel the blood is Agav Chavi He's so excited and he's so uh, happy that he and he loves his mitzvah that he can do the zrika, right? Because this is the first activity of the mizbeach itself. He won't have the patience to wait until all the blood drains out into the cup. He will, as soon as a little bit of blood comes into the into the keli, he will run to the mizbeach without taking the full blood. And he has to take the full blood into the cup. What's that? What's that? So therefore, it must be the koyin. So therefore, the koyin is shechting right away. Has a klisha there and he. Okay, and he cracks and catches all the blood. That's one way. I do mazoidic makabel. It should be the zoidic. Why? The amr shechem makabel zimnin the shachitzar. We learned before that shachitzar kshay the bazaar, and a kabbalah and a kabbalah the elech that is avoid the sakai. And therefore, uh, we're scared that if the shechem has to do it, what's going to happen in the kabbalahs? So you can't have a rule that one time the kabbalahs this person or that person has to be uniform. So when when are we going to have the scribes? We'll see later. Oh, most, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and then somebody finishes. So yeah, but maybe also because the coin is weak, we want to give him. We don't give it too strenuous. Another coin, young. That's a, and, and, and you can do it. It's a thing, but another thing can. And, and so the coin go. We have a rule. We said it many times. Who should the coin go? To? There's so many activities. Remember, he's up all night. He's tired. So they and any activity which is strenuous, we would try to avoid. But uh, for Kuh, 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 Kuh. Yeah. Yeah. So they're trained. They have 24 weeks to train for the one day of work. You know? no, no, I'm, I'm saying the Koenim have Koenim and Yachim only work one day every 24 weeks. So they have plenty of time for training to do all these activities. Remember, we learned in Pishkola, there were different people who just trained them in different activities. I used to pay them. So I think about it further. Okay. So Toshma, come in here. There was a man, a coin goddess called Ben Kotin, and there used to be only one tap when it came to the key. Uh, he said, you know what? Also, you'd base Dodd and he made 12 taps to the key. The 12 brothers are working with the carbon tummage. They could all do it at the same time. They should all wash, wash their hands and feet at the same time. Um, so, the, so why don't we include also the shaykhids? There's 13 activities mentioned in Mishnah. He only made 12 taps. I mean, the shaykhid didn't have to wash his hands because to shechita does not require washing hands because actually soul can do it. But the fact that even though Kohen is doing it, soul can do it, therefore, it's not, it's a, it's, it's not considered a void as far as Peter should die with a line. That's why soul can do it. It's not considered a word. So it can be that the shaykhid is the one who's makabal the dam. Because Kabbalah Saddam does need Kiddush Shaddam Raglam. So then there should be 13 taps. Is that I, it's the Zoydik who catches the, the, the blood. Says the Gemara of Isaac, I'd like to show you the Kabbalah place. I have 13 dollars. I'm going to show you the Kabbalah Shaddam. I'm going to show you the Kabbalah Shaddam. I'm going to show you the Kabbalah Shaddam. We learned Shachat HaShaykhid. We actually learned later on that Shachat, it says the Mishnah. Shachat HaShaykhid. The Kibbalah HaMakabal. Ubala Lizak. And he went to the Zoydik. I'm going to clear the Shaykhid, not the Makabal, somebody else. So the Gemara, um, 
Um, I don't remember keeping, but I say I, the way you, you, you dissect the animal and the way you made the girdle is according to the way the animal walks. You stop the head and you work your way down to the end, not like I'm here. So, the more now explain different opinions. Tell them what we learned. What's the way an animal works? What does he mean? He means what he gets first coin is the right the head and the hind leg. The next coin gets the chazan, the gutter, gets the, the breast. Not like the Amish that says the next thing is the hind legs. We stay your dime, and then you get the two forelegs. We stay the fanners, and then you get the, the flanken, the and the back, the, the back leg and the tail, which is totally out of sequence from Amish. Rabbi Yaisi says, He said the way they strip the animal, they started from the back leg and worked their way to the front. When you strip the animal of its hide, you stop the back and work in front. And that's how they, they, they brought it up. So how's that work? Just opposite. The head always comes first, so that we have no brain. The head and the hind leg. Then goes the oikits, the oikits, the tail, and then goes straight to the panis, and then goes the two flankings, and then goes straight to the daim, the two forelegs, the the hagoda, and then the chest and the neck. Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva says, the way they used to cut up the animal after they stripped the hide, you know, one aver after an aver, and, and it says in the Talmud how exactly they did it, and this is the order they did it. Ketad, what's the benefit to How did they cut up the animal? <clears throat> in other words, as they were cutting it up, they, they gave the Koyanim stud there, the one who was like to this Aver stood there and received it straight away. This is how they did it. Everyone agrees that Roish the the head and the behind right leg, is comes first, as we'll see later from a Pasuk. <clears throat> so, the, the first coin after that, second coin, in other words, got the two forelegs. And he went to the took it, he received it, and he went to the bed and placed it on the ramp. <clears throat> uh, then went the chazanagor, and then the straight panas, then the flanken, and then not like the order before we had a flanken first. But oikus varek on the tail and the hind legs. Abiyasiak clearly says derech iluyok. It goes according to which one is the best meat. It goes by chashivus, and the best ones go first. Again, always the head and the hind leg first. I agree with you that the chaz and the gara is um, uh, sorry. Is, um, so he um, he goes like the first one, which is the next part is the chaz and the gara, because that's you know in order. But then he says here, stay the panas, not like you said, the two four legs. I'm jumping to the flanking, but and then go to the front to stay a die. The way the way it goes going to Khashivis. But see if it says in the Pazi, Kol Nat Aptoyev Yorech because it says clearly the Pazi that the that the, the shoulder is actually more khashiv, the best part. So what are you putting it over then? A hubik kush. By a lean animal, the only real meat you have is by the shoulder. But by a big animal, there's fatty meat everywhere. And that in fact is the most leanest part. Amar Rabbi Zerubah, the Bain Tana, the Lamb, the Beis Rabbi Zerubah, the Beis Rabbi Zerubah, says Rabbi, our Tana, the Mishnah, and whether Rabbi Yisi, they both agree. You go going to Chshivis of the meat, but why is our Tana whole different again? Mar Ozel Bosa Ivra the Bisa. One goes according to the one that has the largest avarim and working down to smaller avarim. Mar Ozel Bosa Shmana the Bisa, which is the fattiest meat. The fattest meat, Kolchelev, is the best part. My time, uh, first of all, why is the, is the hind leg attached to the head? What's the head have to do with the hind right leg? So he answers, should the ration if he should have some, there isn't too much meat in the head full of bones, is carbaregal bahade. So therefore, they brought the hind leg with it to give it some, some meat. The Kuli Alma, but one more thing we see that all opinions agree on one, on one thing that the Rosh Karabadesha, the head is first. But Nolan, how do you know the head is first? Because the Tanya we learn, how do you know that the head and the fats come ahead before all other body? It's as a posseg, as Rosh, you should cut up as Rosh, as Pidra, its head and its fats. So there, and you play them and they put them on the wooden so and so forth. So the head is the very first thing that's mentioned. Okay. Says the Gemara, but Orach, and then the kind placed some as Bech. The Ida was another posseg where it says that the kind they, they took all these parts that were cut off. And it gets us again. So the chayda, what's parach in the Also, why is again mentioned parder again? <clears throat> so again, so roish is a parder. Was in here for the chayda is included. The head has to be mentioned all the time because it says in the pasuk uh, that we heave shit that you have to strip and then uh, and you prepare it. 
So therefore, we would have thought that the only parts that are repaired are those like behind the strip, behind the hide, but we don't strip the head. So maybe we would have thought the head wouldn't go at all. Um, so, the, um, so therefore, because it's, it's, once you shaft is take, decapitated, it's not there. Part of the, the, you don't take it as part of the stripping. So to do, it says, as a roish la pedda. But to the chayda pedda, why is the roish? But pedda, what do you need it for? Pedda is included in everything else that comes under the hide. Why mention it again? And for the Gemara, look at the Tanya, like we learned. Kate said, how do they do it? Noisen ha pedda abeis ha shchita. Uma lehu. When they, uh, they would take the, 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 when they brought the head on the mezbeah, the head itself was pretty mis, all the blood and everything else. So they would take some of the fats and place it, coat it around the neck so that it, it looked uh, and edifying. Uh, because this is covered, you don't want to see all the blood and the gooey stuff there. So therefore, they used to put fats there. And that's why it says a pedder. But not about stamp pedder, but talking about the pedder that they placed next to the rayush. Okay, that ends the Gemara today. Let's continue in Misham tomorrow.